Crypt Underworld, a spiritual continuation of the Crypt World's PC game. The most unique and creative piece of work that no one's talking about as this moment. The odds of you knowing either of these titles is quite slim, unless you happen to spend a lot of time looking for weird or obscure games that exist out there on the internet. This game holds a lot of similar traits to LSD Dream Emulator, but has different progression techniques. The art style is what really grabbed me. Instead of the gameplay, such as the Dream Emulator, you are not hitting walls or falling into pits, you're interacting with characters in a bizarre and strange world. These characters are suspended in time and place, which guide you along your adventure in this unique and interesting world. You may question the story and yourself throughout the entire playthrough, but even after you're finished, you may still be confused or amazed or both. <laughs> Crypt Worlds the first of both of these has multiple endings. A few of these will cause you to start completely over, but that's not a huge problem because the game is not too long. If you've not tried Crypt Worlds, I highly recommend giving it a try. It is a freeware PC game and you have nothing to lose except for experiencing one of the most mind warping games that have hit the internet. The wiki of Crypt Worlds explains it as so. Goddess Moronia puts the player on a quest to collect five of her goddess relics and bring them to her in her home in the crypts. She claimed that she is a creator of the Crypt Plains, the game's world, and that the rival gods Dendigar and the Chaos God are also looking to destroy it. She says that she needs the five goddess relics in order to squash her enemies, and the player is left to track them down. Collecting the five goddess relics and then speaking to goddess Moronia will initiate the Moronia ending. There are multiple endings, and some of them will require you to start back from the beginning. This is not a huge problem, because the game isn't that long, and after your first playthrough, you will know what to do and what not to do. The graphics appear like they have been painted in Microsoft Paint and then ran through an older console and then fed back into your PC. Characters stuck to planes with no animations guide you around with their cryptic messages. And after a while, things start to, oddly, make sense. The world seems to hate you, but respect you. The pilgrims know they want to be independent but their lives are also in your hands. Using the world and putting thought into what you should and shouldn't do will guide you into getting all five relics that are needed by the end of time that is given to you. Experimentation and exploration are major key features of Crypt Worlds, and it does it in such a unique and interesting way. Now to the major title that has me on the edge of my seat on anticipation of getting my hands on. Crypt Underworld. It started out as a Kickstarter by Lily Zone. They have been funded and they are a little late on delivery, but that does not mean the project has been abandoned. Lily, also known as Lilith of the Maze, on YouTube, has been posting progress of the game for over four years now. As of posting this, their latest update was from four months ago and it looks very close to being a playable game. I personally have not played it, but from what I have collected, this game looks even more in-depth compared to the previous title. The graphics still hold that homegrown or low-res style, but this time they are applied to more objects and the environment blends together in what appears as a trip that could only work within this art style. The music that is paired with the world feels so in place. Long, atmospheric tracks with strong industrial influence follow you throughout this maze-like city. The feeling can be somewhat similar to the older Mist titles. Puzzles were always part of the Crypt titles, and I am curious as to how they will play out in the new one. With the ability to use physics within the Unity engine, there could be a plethora 
of new ways to solve puzzles as shown in some of the gameplay on their YouTube channel. Until I actually give the game a try, there is not much else that could be said. I am extremely excited for what it has to bring, and I highly recommend supporting Lilith if you are interested in this title also. When I experience it more, I will make an update video on my thoughts and opinions of the actual work. Until then, I will continue to wait and watch the progress of this project. It is getting closer to being finished, and I cannot wait to get my hands on it. If you enjoyed this, please leave a like and subscribe if you are interested in more content.